from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga. This came out, must have been about June this year, 2022. Um, we have this lengthwise brecciation, so the fracture zone on these would be across the length. Sitting on this matrix, also quite interesting is this little, uh, sort of a pale, a different kind of green with some bluish in some of these sections. And then dusting all that, now we're looking at the top of the specimens, we have a thin layer of chrysocolla coated by druzy quartz and sitting on it are these chubby crystals which uh, uh, in, in my opinion could be various but we're going to go with uh, uh, primary malachite for now even though I severely doubt it. They are dark green, almost black in appearance, hellishly difficult to photograph. Just see if I can, it's a little bit overexposed. And what's interesting and different about this piece, I always look for, for aberrations or, or, or uh, uh, to the norm. You have this uh, different color, druzy quartz uh, coating, maybe underneath some of these, let's say, primary malachite crystals. From a display point of view, flat on a turntable, we'd have this effect. We'd need a stand, so it ain't going to stand on its own, it's going to topple. Going across like this, and looking from the top down, we have this effect. Let's go around. And uh, you can actually zoom into the still pictures to have a better look at these uh, intensely dark green to almost black crystals. My estimation, uh, uh, one of various, uh, paramelaconite, uh, gahardite, vesigerite, or perhaps as we say, primary malachite. All the way from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga. Uh, almost a hand-sized piece.